Thank you, Mr. General Evaluator, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests, and a special Baskar. You gave us five ways to destroy our dreams. Not something I'm sure we should all be aspiring to. <laughs> it's important when we speak that we be understood. You kept your vocabulary simple, you kept your sentences short, and you developed each thought one at a time. I particularly liked your use of numbering. I think that that has helped us to focus on each of the points one at a time, and of course to summarize them at the end as well. Uh, your speech contains some great metaphors. My particular favorite was, life is like canoeing in a river. I could see what happened to that canoe. When you stopped paddling, it just twisted and drifted with the current, and it brought your point home too, that if we stop paddling, then we're going to destroy our dreams. You used vivid verbs, climbing, celebrating, paddling, and these verbs brought motion to your speech. I particularly enjoyed your conclusion. It had an excellent rhythm when you were talking about the journey you repeated. Each, each step led to the next, and each time you repeated the word. I, I didn't make a note of all of them, but I do remember that you were going to trip, and then if you trip, and you, so you repeated each time as you went through the steps. And I think that um, that brought the, the ideas home to us. My only advice would be to be a little bit more concise in your examples. Some of the stories, I think, would have had more impact had they been more focused. Um, although you did get your point across with those examples, the fact that, uh, that they meandered a little too much, I found my attention wavered a little bit. So I would, I would make those a little bit more concise. Baskar, you told us no one has a perfect answer for your life, but you've given us the perfect way to destroy our dreams. <laughs> <laughs>